Hey guys, welcome to Biomedication. This is part 2 of human reproduction in which we'll complete gametogenesis to animations. Make sure you watch the video till the end, like, subscribe and comment the topic you want our next video on. So without wasting any time, let's start studying gametogenesis. Reproduction is an important process in human beings. It involves the fusion of male and female gamete in human body called sperm and ovum. These gametes are formed by the process of gametogenesis. In male, this process occurs in testis and is called spermatogenesis. Whereas in females, it occurs inside the ovary and is called oogenesis. Interestingly, Spermatogenesis and oogenesis begin at different ages. Spermatogenesis begins at puberty, usually between 12 to 13 years of age, and is divided into two stages, spermatocytogenesis and spermiogenesis. Spermatocytogenesis, the first stage, occurs in the seminiferous tubule whose inner walls are lined with spermatogonia, the diploid male germ cells containing 46 chromosomes. Some of these spermatogonia divide mitotically to form two daughter cells. But out of these two daughter cells, one remains, the spermatogonium, while the other becomes primary spermatocyte. This primary spermatocyte divides meiotically to form two equal cells called secondary spermatocyte. Unlike primary spermatocyte, secondary spermatocyte are haploid cells containing 23 chromosomes each. Spermatocytogenesis is succeeded by spermiogenesis, during which the spermatids differentiate into an elongated and tadpole-like spermatozoa or sperms. However, during this process, the head of the sperms remain embedded in the Sertoli cells, which provide these developing sperms with nutrition. The non-motile sperms are released into the lumen of seminiferous tubule by a process called spermiation. The lumen has testicular fluid that helps transport the non-motile sperm to the epididymis, where they mature and become motile during ejaculation. Sperm from the epididymis are transported via vas deferens to the urethra in the penis, and the sperms pass through the different tubes and mixes with the fluid secreted by the seminal vesicles and prostate gland to form a mixture called semen which is ejaculated by penis. Did you know the semen released during a single ejaculation contains 200 to 300 million sperms? Microscopic studies have revealed that a typical sperm is covered by a plasma membrane and has four distinct parts, a head, neck, a middle piece and a tail. Inside the head lies a elongated haploid nucleus containing chromosomes. The interior part of this nucleus is surrounded by acrosome, a cat-like structure filled with enzymes that help fertilization. The sperm's head is followed by its neck and middle piece which is filled with mitochondria. These mitochondria break down glucose in the semen to produce ATP, an energy molecule that powers the movement of sperm's tail. The formation of sperm is triggered when the hypothalamus secretes high levels of gonadotrophin-releasing hormone or GnRH. This GnRH act on the interior pituitary gland and stimulates the secretion of luteinizing hormone or the LH and 
follicle stimulating hormone or FSH. LH in turn stimulates the Leydig cells to synthesize and secrete androgen, a hormone that trigger spermatogenesis. FSH on the other hand acts on the Sertoli cells to stimulate the secretion of substances that nurture the sperm cells during spermatogenesis. While spermatogenesis occurs at puberty, oogenesis is triggered before a woman's birth. When the germinal epithelial cells in the ovary of the fetus divide mitotically to form gamete mother cells called oogonia. A few oogonia divide again to form two mature cells called primary oocyte. The primary oocyte then gets enveloped by a layer of squamous granulosa cells and together they make up the primordial follicle. The oocyte further develops as the fetus develops but the granulosa cells do not change till puberty. In fact, primary oocyte enter the prophase of meiotic division and remain suspended till puberty. Did you know, at the birth, a woman has approximately 7 lakh oocytes. Incidentally, no oocytes are formed after birth, but by puberty, most of the primary oocyte degenerate leading only 4 lakh in the ovary. At puberty, the release of LH and FSH hormones stimulates some primary oocyte to resume meiotic division that had begun at a woman's fetal stage. Moreover, due to FSH, the squamous cells of the primordial follicle enlarge and become cuboidal. The dividing primary oocyte and the cuboidal granulosa cells now make up the primary follicle. The primary follicle is transformed into two follicle when it enlarges and is surrounded by several layers of granulosa cells which in turn are enveloped by developing theca or capsule. Later, these granulosa cells secrete estrogen, which creates the antrum, a fluid-filled cavity among the granulosa cells. Moreover, the theca becomes evident and gets organized into two layers, the theca interna and the theca externa. This structure is now called the tertiary follicle as the secondary follicle transforms itself into a tertiary follicle. The primary oocyte within the follicle completes meiotic division which is unequal and leads a large haploid secondary oocyte and a tiny first polar body. The polar body is believed to degenerate leaving the tertiary follicle with only the secondary oocyte or ovum. As the tertiary follicle develops into a mature follicle or graphene follicle, the antrum grows and the secondary oocyte and the surrounding granulosa cells are pushed towards one end of the follicle. The granulosa cells secrete a glycoprotein substance that forms a membrane. The zona pellucida around the secondary oocyte. The secondary oocyte or ovum is released from the graphene follicle when it ruptures due to surge of LH in the body. This process called ovulation causes the oocyte or ovum to be placed in oviduct, whereas it awaits fertilization by sperm. In this way, the ovum and sperm are formed through a long and intricate process of gametogenesis. So here it ends. Congratulations, you completed a major portion of human reproduction. Make sure you like, share, subscribe and comment the topic you want our next video on. 
and do check out these playlists and amazing videos. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.